In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the PDF course schedule builder. You can build your course schedule in five steps. First step is to download the tool. Second step is to add the modules. Third step is to set the dates. Fourth, add the activities. And finally, publish. We'll start with downloading the tool. This link to the tool should be available in the description of the video. If it's not, you may type in the address as it is shown here. Depending on how you have your browser configured, it's going to handle the PDF in one of a couple ways. It may open up a dialog box asking you if you want to save the file or open it in an application. In my case, when I click on this, it actually downloads the file and then opens it up into Adobe Reader which is exactly what I want it to do. If you don't have a copy of Adobe Reader, you're going to want to install that and you can get that free program from this address. Next we're going to add the modules. When you first open the tool, you notice that module 1 is already visible. To enable additional modules, just click on the button for each module. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to build a course schedule that has five modules. After the module list, you will notice that there's uh, an additional text field at the bottom uh, where you can put some terms in, such as uh, if you have submissions due by a certain time, you can put that in and other information that you want attached with the course schedule. If you don't need to use this text box, you can just highlight the text and the line and delete it. Now we'll set the dates. You can set the opening and closing date for each module using these fields. To set the date, I place my cursor in this date field and then I can click on this arrow symbol to enable the built-in calendar tool in Acrobat Reader. Now in my example, the course opens on Monday and then closes on Sunday. And as you can see, the closing date was populated by the opening date. As well, the next opening date will be populated by the previous closing date. So it makes it very easy for me to come in here and set these dates up. Now we will add the activities. There are six types of activities that you can add just by clicking a button. Reading, video, discussion, quiz, assignment, and exam. Two of the activity types, readings and videos, are numbered according to the module that they're placed in. So reading 1.2 would be the second reading in module 1. For the remaining types of activities, they are numbered at the course level. For instance, if I had quiz 1 in module 1, but I didn't have another quiz until module 3, when I added that quiz in, it's going to be called quiz 2. If I need to remove an activity, I can use this button on the right hand side to delete it. The tool is going to ask you to remove the highest number of each activity type first in order to preserve the numbering convention. So in this case, I would remove quiz two, and then that would allow me to remove quiz one. Now there's a blank activity type, and I can just type in whatever I want there. As well, if I add in an activity that I want to move up the activity list, I can use these arrows on the left-hand margin to do so. The left-hand column in each module allows you to indicate a start date for an activity. So for instance, in this course, I might want all of my students to post to this discussion no later than Wednesday and finish the discussion by replying to two other students no later than Friday, leaving two days for group leaders to go in and review the submissions in their group. The description for each activity can be very simple. 
Or if you have a more detailed description that spans multiple lines, just input your text and then click on any other field and Adobe Reader will dynamically expand the field for the description to accommodate all the text. While you're building your course schedule, you may want to preview what it's going to look like, which you can do by going to the toolbar at the top and clicking on Preview. Now while you're in this preview mode, you will still be able to make edits or add things such as titles to your course schedule. When you're finished with the preview, click this button. All of the rows that you have added will be hidden and you can show them again by clicking on this symbol. And now we're ready to publish your course schedule. Enter into the preview mode and review your modules to make sure that all of your rows and activities are visible. At this point you can put a title on your course schedule and then click the Publish button. You will first be prompted to save an editable version of this course schedule. So hit OK and type in a file name. And I like to just include the word editable in there. You will receive another prompt telling you that your file is now finished. You'll click OK and then you'll put in the final name of your file. And hit save. At this point, the toolbar will disappear and all of the fields will become read-only and the course schedule is ready for your students.